Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We've got a fun one today. This is the Star Trek Bluetooth Communicator Badge, and it will work just like it sounds. It will connect up with your phone and allow you to make phone calls or interact with your virtual assistant just by tapping on it, just like they did on Star Trek The Next Generation. Let's take a closer look at this, but before we do, I want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for this with my own funds after seeing a friend of mine talking about it on Facebook. All of the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see what this thing is all about. Now the price point on this is about $60. The build quality here is not great. It's all plastic. As you can see, the button here kind of flops around a bit. Uh, the entire top portion is a button and you have to push it down for it to engage. The good news is that when you slap it like they did on the show, it will usually respond. I'm not sure how many slaps it can take before it gives up, but it does uh, work pretty well. Now, right now, I've got it in its cosplay mode, which means that every time I push this, it will chirp like you hear there. It charges up via USB. There's a USB port here on the bottom. It is micro USB. The battery life on this is pretty bad. Um, now, the product page says it is anywhere from 2 to 48 hours. My experience with this has been that if you are listening to music or talking on the phone, expect maybe an hour or two out of it. You might get 48 hours of standby time, but it really is not something that uh, has a lot of utility beyond the kind of the novelty of having a Star Trek badge that actually works. Now there is no pin to attach to your clothing here. So what it relies on is a magnet. So there's a little metal piece here that comes in the box. And what you want to do is get this circle piece pointed at the uh, badge here. And the metal portion here goes under your shirt. And then the badge will connect through your shirt and usually hold itself in place. But if you've got a really thick piece of clothing, this is not going to work. Uh, we are going to try it here on my polo shirt, which works fine, but I think this might be about as thick as you can go with this magnet. So let me get this uh, mounted in the Starfleet approved location, and we'll take a look and see how it works. All right, so I've got the badge now mounted on my shirt. I'm ready to join Starfleet. I have it paired up with my iPhone via Bluetooth. It pairs up just like any other Bluetooth device does. And right now I've got a YouTube video that I was watching, but it's paused, so if I push the button, so let's get to it. It'll start playing my YouTube video again, and if I push it again, it will stop. And this works just like any other Bluetooth device would. It's basically a play and pause button. Now, a little bit earlier, I got a phone call, and if you get a call, what'll happen is the badge will chirp like it does on the TV show, and then you push the badge once to answer the call. Let's have a look at that. Okay, Jake is calling. This is, this is the captain. Are you there? Hi, hi. How are you doing? Good. How do I sound to you? You sound a bit distant. It's almost like you're on speakerphone a little bit. So as you can hear, the speaker quality isn't great on this thing. It's about what you would expect for something this small. The microphone is located right where my finger is pointing, and it doesn't pick up all that well either. Let's listen to an audio test. All right, so this is what it sounds like, and this is where you would normally wear this comm badge. I haven't measured it out specifically to Starfleet regulations, but this is close to where you would normally wear it, and it doesn't sound all that great. Now, I could move it up closer to here, and that might give it a little bit more clarity, but as you can hear, this is not something you're going to use to make a lot of phone calls. Now, if you tap the badge twice, you can get at your virtual assistant on Android and iPhone. So we're going to do a double tap here. What's the weather in New York City today? It's currently cloudy at 81 degrees. In so just like the enterprise computer, I can hit the badge here and have my computer tell me stuff. And it's working, of course, with Siri in this instance, but it would do the same with Google. Kind of a neat little gimmicky feature, but it works. So if you have a Star Trek fan in your life, they might enjoy this as a fun novelty gift. The battery, the speaker, and the microphone aren't so great on it, but it does work. And I think that is pretty darn cool, but it's not something I think that has a lot of utility. So that's going to do it for this look at the Star Trek badge. I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching and be me out of here. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Jim Callagher, 
Hot Sauce and Video Games, and Brian Parker. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.